السلام عليكم ورحمة الله ومرحبا بكم مجددا في محاضرة جديدة من سلسلة محاضراتنا عن مراجعة أسئلة اختبارات البرومتريك Review of Prometric Test Questions This is lecture number 9 in Maternity and Child Health Nursing and number 48 in Guys Review Today we are going to discuss 5 questions from question number 257 up to question number 261 معكم محمد ثمانية هي نبدأ مباشرة. Question number two hundred fifty seven. A nurse is educating a primary gravid woman who is pregnant at thirty weeks on breastfeeding. Which of the following statement by the woman indicates that she needs additional teaching? The options are number A, breast milk can store it at room temperature. Number B, breastfeeding should be based on baby demand. Number C, baby can be held in different ways during feeding. Number D, breastfeeding helps the uterus to return to pre-pregnancy size. وقف الفيديو هنا اختار الخيار اللي بتشوفه صحيح. The correct option is option number A. Breast milk can start at room temperature. اللي اخترنا الخيار رقم هنا شوف rational. Note the strategic words needs additional teaching. These words indicate a negative event query and ask you to select an option that is incorrect statement knowing that the expressed breast milk should not be kept at room temperature for more than four hours so the correct option is option number a breast milk can store it at room temperature Question number 258. Which of the following vaccines should be given to a nine-month-old? The options are number A, hepatitis vaccine, number B, variocella and measles vaccine, number C, oral polio and BCG vaccines. Number D, measles and MCV4 vaccines. وقف الفيديو هنا اختار الخيار اللي بشوفه صحيح. The correct option is option number D, measles and meningococcal conjugate vaccine 4. اللي اختار الخيار رقم D نشوف rational. Keep in mind that each country has some modifications to the international immunization schedule. Based on the Saudi immunization schedule, measles and meningococcal conjugate vaccines, MCV4, are given at age of nine months. So the correct option is option number D. Question number 259. Nurse is instructing a female client how to do breast self-examination. Which of the following is the best time to perform this examination? The options are number A, after ovulation, number B, after the period, number C, Two weeks after period. Number D, three days before period. وقف الفيديو هنا اختار الخيار اللي شوف صحيح. The correct option is option number B. After the period. اللي اخترنا الخيار رقم بي نشوف rational. Hormone levels fluctuate each month during the menstrual cycles. Which causes change in breast tissue, and this change begins to decrease when the period starts. 
Therefore, the best time to perform a self-exam for breast is usually the week after the period ends. So, the correct option is option number B, after the period. Question number 260. A nurse is explaining pedendal black anesthesia to primary gravida women who is in active labor. Which of the following relief areas identified by the women will indicate that teaching was effective? The options are number A, back, number B, perineum, number C, fundus, number D, abdomen. وقف الفيديو هنا واختار الخيار اللي بتشوفه سهي. The correct option is option number B. اللي يختار الخيار رقم B نشوف rational. The pedendal block gets its name because a local anesthetic is injected into the pedendal canal where the pedendal nerve is located, usually given in the second stage of labor, just before delivery of the baby. This allows quick pain relief to the perineum, vulva, and vagina. So the correct option is option number B, perineum. Question number 261. Which of the following classifications of placenta brevia is applicable when the placenta edge is 5 cm away from the internal cervical os? The options are number A, total, number B, partial, number C, marginal, Number D, complete. وقف الفيديو هنا اختار الخيار اللي بتشوفه سهي. The correct option is option number C. اللي اخترنا الخيار رقم C نشوف rational. Placenta brevia is a condition where the placenta lies low in the uterus and partially or completely covers the cervix or internal cervical host. There are three types of placenta brevia. Number one, complete placenta brevia, in which the placenta completely covers the internal os of the uterus. And number two, partial, in which the placenta partially covers the internal cervical os. Partially, not complete. And marginal, the placenta is located at just to or near to, but not covering the cervical opening. So the correct option is option number C, marginal. Shukran jazilan, that gavel fi mahadra jaya. Don't forget to support us by comment, like, or subscribe.